guys, it's Bridget. Today's look is a glitter cut crease with a bright red lip. Perfect for New Year's or any time of the year, really. So if you want to see how I got this full face look, then just keep watching. To start off, I'm going to prime my face using my Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer. Then I'm going to prime my eyes using the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. For brows, I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in the shade Taupe. Then I'm going to set my brows using my Givenchy Mr. Brow Groom. For the eyes, I'm going to start with my Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette, and I'm going to use this lightest shade here to set my eyeshadow primer. Next, I'm going to go in with this middle color, and I'm going to sweep this just above the crease, starting in the center of the lid and sweeping it out all the way past the outer corner of the eye. Kind of creating like a wave shape. Next, I'm gonna take this darker brown here and I'm gonna trace along that same shape I just made, but not blending so far up to the brow this time. It helps if you position your mirror a little bit below you and kind of look down into the mirror, then you can really see the shape that you're creating and you can see more of your lid at that angle. Now using an even smaller brush, you're gonna go in with black and trace right along the crease. And now to achieve the shape of the cut crease, I'm gonna take some of my Naked Skin Concealer from Urban Decay. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on the back of my hand, and then I'm going to use a really small brush to pick some of that up and apply it on my lid, drawing a really precise crease line just under where we added that black shadow. And then I'm going to set the concealer using my NARS Translucent Crystal Pressed Setting Powder. For liner, I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown Gel Liner in the shade Black Ink. Thank you. 
Now it's time for the glitter. I'm gonna be using Barbie Shops from Lit Cosmetics and the Lit Cosmetics Clearly Liquid Glitter Base. I'm going to use a mixing palette to mix a few drops of the glue with the glitter. Then I'm gonna take a very small brush and apply that paste carefully over where the concealer is visible on the lid. Now it's time to move on to the rest of the face. I'm going to use my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. It's a little too light for me right now, so I'm going to mix a drop of my custom cover drops from Cover FX. And since I don't want a fully matte look with my foundation, I'm gonna mix in a couple drops of the Algenist Concentrated Luminizing Drops. And I'm blending that in with my Beauty Blender. For concealer, I'm going back and using my Urban Decay Naked Concealer in the shade Fair Neutral. I'm going to set my concealer under my eyes using a small brush and the NARS Translucent Crystal Setting Powder. For the lower lash line, I'm going to switch over to my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette and I'm going to use the shade Red Ochre. And I'm going to go back in with the black from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette, just in the outer corners. I'm also going to line my waterline using my Marc Jacobs pencil. To contour, I'm going to use my Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in Medium. I'm going to use my Tom Ford Bronzing Powder in Terra. And to highlight, I'm going to use my Hourglass Incandescent Strobe Light in Ambient. I'm going to set my face using my MAC Fix Plus. For mascara, I'm using my Marc Jacobs Noir Mascara. For lashes, I'm using my Huda Beauty Lashes in Sasha number 11. And my Premier Products Add a Lash Latex Free Lash Glue. For lips, I'm going to use the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in the shade Cruella. And this is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a like if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe.